Parks Casino is so close, you can get lucky in no time. With hundreds of tables and thousands of slots, you're closer than ever to winning. You are great. Parks, Pennsylvania's number one casino. Get lucky in no time. Can you believe, I mean, it, it's 61 degrees outside. Mr. California over here <laughs> is, in his, well, is in his Phillies gherkin. And he's so California because he's in a gherkin but flip-flops. But flip-flops. And, right, right. and, and you can see the hints of painted toenails. Yes, yes I, yes. I thought that. that's what that was. Uh, yeah, I like to rock it that way. <laughs> I'm not homophobic. I'm a homochondriac. <laughs> <laughs> I'm comfortable with you. If you're gay, I'm comfortable with your lifestyle. I'm just afraid one night you'll get me drunk and trick me into it. <laughs> and I'll like it. That's my fear. That's my, like, I saw this. What I saw the other day, I thought this was really interesting. I was in New York mm. and maybe I had smoked marijuana, but okay, but, but you know how that, that just changes your perspective on things. Mm -hmm. This is what I saw. I thought this was beautiful. Uh, two gay guys, they were holding hands. One was they were both wearing jean shorts. One was wearing no shirt. They're both wearing work boots, like matching work boots. Okay. One guy's got a mesh tank top on uh -huh. and a python around his neck. Wow. Okay. And they're holding hands, and all I thought was, I will never know that freedom. Like, <laughs> Like, my wife is not that confident. If I like, I could never just walk in the living room and go, "Honey, what do you think? Work boots, jean shorts, python?" And her, and her go, "Oh yeah, oh definitely yeah." Like, I literally saw that and I thought, I really thought we got, you know, like, I think homosexuality is just pitched to me wrong. Like, if it had been soft sold to me, I didn't, I didn't realize we get pitched on it. But no, like I, when, the first time you hear about it, you're like, they do what? And like when you're a kid, and then and now, but if they told it to me now, they're like, here's the deal: you can wear whatever you want. You're like, okay, I keep going. <laughs> they're like, sex pretty much any time. You're like, shut up. What's the catch? You're like, there's a couple catches. Hold on one second. All right, let me keep going. <laughs> you can dance whenever you want. You're like, shut. Up. Like, I can't just dance. I can't just start dancing. Everyone's like, what's wrong with you? I go, I just feel it, man. Like, no. I went to the I went to the beach with my wife. This is what she lays out my clothes. I'm taking all the girls uh, and 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 all their friends. So it's all girls. I have okay. girls. I just live with girls. <laughs> and uh, she lays out elastic waistband pants from Target. Like, oh, that's sad. When you're wearing elastic, <laughs> that, you're not supposed to wear that. You're supposed to wear like buttoned up. Like that's how. And then a, a swim shirt. And I was like, I don't want to wear that. <laughs> She's like, that, that's what you're wearing to the beach. <laughs> it's aggressive when you don't wear a shirt. Like, put a shirt on. <laughs> and I thought, like, my boyfriend would never ask me to do that. <laughs> my boyfriend, like, my, if, by the way, if I, if I could choose what I want to wear to the beach, I'm not even lying right now. I'll tell you my outfit. Uh, cowboy boots, right. Speedo, right. fanny pack, sombrero. <laughs> Like, if, like if, if we're not judging. And where you live, no one would question it. Uh, well, my wife would. <laughs> like, she just doesn't, like, I don't think she lo doesn't love me that way. Like, she, I, I can't just look like anything. Like, th there's parts that she puts up with. Like, I, I went to, they had, um, they, they had, uh, oh, what's it called? Career day. Okay. The other day. All right. My wife's like, would you go talk to the kids? I think it would be interesting to have. You know, a comedian talk. I go, yeah. She goes, don't talk about TV. Just talk about comedy, because there's another parent that's going on TV. Don't talk right. about being on TV. I go, okay, okay. fine. So it's one of those. It's morning like this morning where you're hungover, right. and you're, but I know I got to be around kids. So I'm like, mm -hmm. all right, kill a cup of coffee, grab two diet cokes. Go. I'm like, I'm fine. I have two okay. diet cokes that are in my pockets. I was actually wearing this jacket. Okay. <laughs> so I go to do a uh, career day. I go into the room. I grab my first diet coke. I crack it, put it to my lips, and I realize I have a Coors Light. <laughs> <laughs> If I, I couldn't represent being a comedian better. <laughs> By the way, one of the dads for career day is a cop, okay? So I'm now, I walk out of the room, murder the murder the Coors Light, and grab each of my pocket. Other pocket is another Coors Light. <laughs> I grab two Coors Lights. And so then I, I told them, they go, uh, this is the worst part. There's no real joke to this, but... Uh, they go, so what do you do? And I said, guys, I'm a comedian. I go in front of strangers and I tell them jokes and they all laugh. And all the kids are like, oh, really? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, can you tell us a joke? I'm like, 
No. <laughs> I don't have anything for you. Like, I don't have any clean material. I don't have any clean material. So I'm looking at these kids. I go, nope. And they're like, and then Isla, my lunatic kid, raises and she goes, he tells stories about me. I'm like, uh, Isla, shut up. Like, you do not, like, I don't have any clean stories about this kid. And so, and so I just bombed. And then the cop comes up and he pulls his gun out and shows his gun to the kids. All the kids are like, you got a gun? <laughs> and then he's like, I got my motorcycle outside. You guys want to sit on my motorcycle? I'm like, I want to sit on your motorcycle. <laughs> He's like, you've been drinking. <laughs> so, so let me let me get this straight. Your wife makes you wear a shirt, a swim shirt, to swim the shirt. beach. A man a long who sleeve, long sleeve. A, 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 a man who, on a nightly basis, yeah, and right, 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 shows his chest naked to his entire audience. At some point in time, if you're going to bird show, at some point in time, he's gonna get undressed. Last night, last night in the middle of the show, I, I, I didn't take my shirt off, and right. then in the middle of the show, someone goes, "Just take your shirt off already." I was like, <laughs> okay, and then I took it off, and they literally clapped for like five minutes, and I was like, "That's all I gotta do." I'm like the elephant man. I got offered, I got offered to do a. Uh, uh, Playgirl? No. <laughs> no, uh, a bear magazine in San Francisco. Oh, what? God. Yeah. Uh, now, now, wow. now, hold on. Hold on. Explain bear to those who don't know. Well, I'm what's called a muscle bear. Right. There's a, the, muscle bear? Uh, yeah, there's pocket bears, and that's right. smaller right. guys that are hairy. <laughs> right. It's, in the it's gay hairy men in it's the gay community. Hairy, hairy burly, men in... bearded right. men in the gay mm. community. Mm. Which, I, by the way, I, I, when I, heard, when I got the offer, I was actually flattered. Uh -huh. I was like, that's so cool that you, because that, I, you know, a lot of times I think in the gay community, they look at me and they go, he's a meathead. He's a bro. Right, right. right. But like, they were like, hey man, we think you're cute. Would you do a spread for us? Mm -hmm. And I was like, and they're like, you can be as, as racy as you want. And in my head, I'm like, we're going full tilt. Like, <laughs> I'm going nude. I'm going full nude. I want, I want the assless chaps. Spread <laughs> is what we're doing, buddy. <laughs> So I, Are you sure they didn't recruit you? No, it's, they, 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 they email me and I email them back. I'm like, I'm in. And they're like, you're in? I go, I'm 100% in. And then, and then and then it started to fall apart. I, in my head, I thought for the premiere of a show, it would be great press. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like you always see like celebrities on the cover of like Out magazine. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then you go, oh, that's a cool person. He's open-minded, whatever you think. Right. I just thought it would be cool. Bert Kreischer and a bear, and maybe you get a, a Travel Channel star. So I tell Travel Channel about it, and they lose their mind. They're like, hey, for the record, um, you have a morality clause. You can't just do porn. <laughs> I go, one thing, you can't do porn, let alone gay porn. Like, you can't do any porn. I go, it's not porn. And they're like, no, it's pornography. When you get naked and take pictures of people, that's called pornography. And I was like, oh, yeah. I never really thought of that. <laughs> All right. By the way, the show's called Bert the Conqueror. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>